May that prophetic mantle in your hand and on your hair remain a mantle of life. Yeah. It shall remain a seal of the hand of God upon your life. Yeah. Whatever clears the way for this commission begins to clear the way for you. Yeah. Whatever could not stop this commission from advancing will not be able to stop your life. Yeah. The days of stress and strain are over in your life. Welcome to Apostle TV. The message you're about to watch will definitely transform your life. Be blessed as you watch. No virtue flows from any prophet without the faith of the recipient. Somebody touch me, Jesus said, because virtue is gone out of me. And he said to the woman, thy faith has tapped into virtue from me and has made thee whole. Without your faith, no matter the tangibility of the virtue, it won't flow. Jesus got to Nazareth and he could there do no mighty work and he marveled at their own belief. Even Jesus, with overflowing anointing, could not impart on them without their faith. Mark 6, 5 and 6. Believe the Lord your God shall be established. Believe also his prophet and so shall ye prosper. No prophet is responsible for which word comes to pass in your life. No prophet is responsible. For instance, God is not responsible for any prophetic scripture that's not coming to pass in your life. You are, I am. Let your faith come alive. Without your faith, it will just be like trying to wipe your face. With the mantle, there is nothing that will happen. He that receives a prophet, he shall receive the prophet. Matthew 10, 41. It doesn't drop on people by force. No. It's by faith we partake of what has been administered. It's by your faith. We can pray. It takes your faith to receive, to make it happen. We have prayed the prayer of faith. You need the receiving of faith to make it happen. We are out here before the Lord where he has vowed. To impart upon you and I is manifold grace upon this commission Amen. that's given us our place in destiny Amen. without stress. A picky canto plan crack ten Every good gift and every perfect gift comes from above. Yes, so it's not about the man, it's about the source. Yes, the source of the gift. A pick tano crack ten balatos. Set your heart. An account of a lifetime. Now, wait a minute. There is no demonic hold on any man that receives this mantle and will remain. Amen. Amen. Your last nightmare was the one you had last. Amen. The siege on your life, your family, they'll be broken loose. Sir, I'm not responsible for what you take from here. You are. <laughs> I'm not responsible. Even Papa lay hands on me, it doesn't matter. If Jesus lay hands on you without your faith, you won't get anything. He lay hands on them, nothing happened. <laughs> so it's not this tiny prophet we're talking about. I said, Jesus, without your faith, you can't receive from him. Without your faith, you can't receive from him. Without your faith, you can't receive from him. I can't receive from him. Set your faith in place. Stop playing religion. Stop playing church title. Come say with your faith. Or a change of story. It's happening tonight. It's happening this early morning. A new you will emerge from this service. In the name of Jesus. Guys, sit down for a moment. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. 
all over the world at this time, we are getting ready to pass the prophetic mantle that we dispatch at Shiloh. It's ever fresh. Praise God. And we pass it around straight to your forehead and then to the one in your hand and it's now turned to a prophetic mantle. Every wonder you ever notice in this place will start manifesting in your life. Amen. Can I hear your loudest amen? amen? What is in this impartation for me? John 4, 38. I sent you to reap that we are unto you, but so no labor. Other men labor, and you are entered into their labor. It is God bringing you into what you didn't labor for. All that's labor for it, and it's made available to you for free. Amen. Jesus said to me, freely I've given you, freely give them. So whatever works in this prophet begins to work in you from now. Amen. Every devil that fears this prophet will start fearing you from now. There shall be diverse impartation of spiritual gifts that will establish your stability in the kingdom. There shall be no more off and on for you. Romans 1 11. I long to see that I'm imparted of spiritual gifts to the end that you may be established. Your days of on and on in your work with God, they are over. Can I hear your loudest amen? By this impartation, we shall be enabled to manifest the same spirit and walk in the same steps of the carrier of the grace we genuinely covet. As this man to reaches you, there shall be a breaking forth of new order of grace. You'll be surprised by yourself. You'll become a surprise to yourself. Because things you never knew will ever take place in your life will start happening. All by grace. All by grace. Paul said, you are all partakers of my grace. You are all partakers of my grace. So grace is transferable. Philippians 1, 7. And finally, there shall be release of special miracles. The kind we have never heard, read, or said. A release of special miracles that we have never read, heard, or said. It will happen in somebody's life right now. Yeah. Growth will disappear as if they never existed. Yeah. Bloated tummy will deflate on its own. Yeah. Cancer will dissolve as if it will never exist. Yeah. Pains and strains will lose their grip of your life. Yeah. Somebody's head will suddenly be fully restored. Yeah. Deformity will disappear. Disability will be recreated in the name of Jesus. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul so that handkerchiefs and aprons were taken from him to them that were sick, that diseases were healed, and evil spirits went out of them. Evil spirits tormenting them went out of them. Evil spirits tormenting them went out of them. It's your night. For all of our multitudes across the nations of the earth, wherever you are, we have an understanding there is no distant barrier in the word of the Spirit. The Satan says, Speak the word only, my servant shall be whole. And he spoke the word, and the servant was made whole the self same hour. It's still God. That's not changed. Somebody got his here of bone marrow cancer from this altar all the way in India. We were getting ready for Bumaro transfer. She took the communion along with us, and that was it. Vanished. Got for his check on Tuesday, they can't find it anymore. He returned back home, free. And stood there one year after, and said, I was the one that Jesus healed one year ago. I'm still healed and hurting. So no matter where you are in the world, Jesus will visit you. Every word spoken here will take root in your life. Yeah. There shall be diverse instant testimonies. Yeah. Testimonies of turnaround. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. 
blind eyes will be opened. Yeah. Deaf ear will be restored. Yeah. Last Sunday at the miracle service, somebody was deaf and dumb for 26 years. Got loosed in one sweep. One sweep. 26 years of deafness and dumbness. Jesus set him free. Today, no matter what came with you here, if it's not of God, if it has not, and no evil is from God, it shall be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Now, here we are. Like begets like according to the law of creation or procreation. Life begets like. Like begets like. Giants are born of giants. Giants don't give back to dwarfs and dwarfs don't give back to giants. As the Lord lives, at this man to comes on your head, the giant in you will come alive. The giant in you will come alive. The giant in you will come alive. In 2 Samuel chapter 21 and verse 20, we saw this description there. And there was yet a battle in Gath, where was a man of great stature that had on every king, every hand, six fingers, and on every foot, six toes, four and twenty in number. And he also was born of the giant. Giants are born of giants. Verse 22. And when it did, okay, and these four were born to the giant in Gath. They were born. Giants are always born of giants. You can't find a giant without a root in a giant. Giants are always born of giants. Giants are always born of giants. Tonight, the giant in you will come alive. The giant in you will come alive. The giant in you will come alive. The giant in you must come alive. As the man to drops on you, it shall happen immediately. Amen. By this impartation today, there shall be replication and multiplication of grace. Amen. In my lifetime, I will see it happen. Amen. People will rise from here that will make the testimony I share with you like no testimonies. Amen. By the quality of their work with God, you are one of them. 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 Now, very simple thing that I will say, and then we begin to administer this mystery. No biological child had to covet the DNA of the biological father. It's natural. It's natural. From people to understand that prophets are sent as fathers to whomsoever they are sent. My father, my father, the children of Israel and the husband they are all. That was Elisha, the son of Shaphat, calling Elijah that was sent to him as his father. Second Kings chapter 2 and verse 12, 12. He returned with the spirit of Elijah. God is returning, restoring the heart of fathers to their children and the heart of children to their father in these last days. To avert the causes that they may not be able to stand, but the grace to withstand it is in their father. Malachi chapter 4 verse 6. The king of Israel, in 2 Kings chapter 6 and verse 21, screamed and said, My father, to Elisha, my father, shall I smite them? He didn't give back to him. He was a prophet sent to him and was a father to him. Amen. Fatherhood guarantees automatic transmission of spirituality DNA. It guarantees automatic transmission of the spiritual DNA of whoever the father is. Auto. No, oh, guess what? A good man liveth and inheritance for his children's children. Yes, Proverbs 15 22. Yes, Not for his friends. Yes, sir. For his children. Yes, children. Not for, for his colleagues. Yes, for his children. 
In the precious name of Jesus, something is breaking forth in your life. Amen. Now, this redo. When Egan was going to heaven, the Lord said to me, somebody as close to you as your cloth is coming over. And I said, my biological father? He said, no, again. And I told my wife, the ego is about to swallow. Let's rush. Two, three weeks after that, he went home. No sickness, no disease, nothing. God knew my connectivity to him. He knows whether you're connected or not. God knows. He checks the heart. He knows. For every genuinely connected person, as the law lives, sir, you are living with every grace visible on this commission. Amen. No, you wanted to tell anybody. They saw it and they said, the spirit of Elijah doth rest upon Elijah. The same effect, Amen. the same impact. Amen. Your passion for God will change level. Amen. It will be an untiring passion. Amen. It will be ever burning. Your kingdom advancement priority will become your new way of life. Amen. The giving grace will find full blown expression in your life. Amen. The days of struggling to make things happen will be over in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Stand to your feet, everybody. Let the stewards come. Now, give expression to your demand from this impartation session. As this man to come my way, let the prophetic word spoken this time find full blown expression in my life. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray all over the world at this time. It's your turn. It's your turn. A mad woman received this man to 1989, and the insanities appeared on the spot. Every siege of the wicked must clear the way. And what more? We are partaking of the full blown grace of God upon this commission from this altar right now. In the name of Jesus. Get your faith on the line. Get your faith on the line. It will only be released by your faith. It will only be released by your faith. It will only be released by your faith. It's available, but it takes faith, faith to trigger the flow. It's available. It takes faith to trigger the flow. There shall be no more molestation around your life. No. Kidnapping forever. No, you are beyond that. Forever beyond it. Amen. Robbery attack forever. Can you imagine robbers attack Jesus? A picking can't throw the Erubin Kiaro. Ziziano Prekonamo. All the army of Israel went after David. He took over under, under the prophetic ministry of Samuel. They couldn't reach him. A complex crack the Norianoza. Aplocrodianota. That Marisa siege is broken finally. <laughs> that siege of barrenness is broken finally. That siege of failure is broken finally. Amen. In the name of Jesus. By this prophetic mantle ministration, everyone's head that is challenged is declared fully restored. Yeah. Instant special miracles taking place right now. Yeah. It's taking place all over the world. Yeah. At the same time, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You believe your portion is there? Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Thank you, Jesus. We have seen amazing things by the hand of God through this mystery. We shall see greater ones this morning. We shall see greater ones this morning. Every brain situation, loss of memory, mental disorder, as this touches you, it disappears. Yeah. On the spot. Yeah. Every seed of the wicked, respond for your state of health, as this man to get across to you, 
those evil spirits will disappear. <laughs> For those who care to believe, you came here blind, you are going back home saying. <laughs> you came here paralyzed, you are walking back straight. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Every terminal disease, as this man to get to you, they shall be terminated. <laughs> Every appointment, appointment with death shall be rendered known and void. <laughs> you shall not die but live <laughs> and declare the works of God. You shall not die but live <laughs> and declare the works of God. You shall not die but live. <laughs> Many years ago, one of our pastors was caught up in the night that somebody was dead. He said, look, I can't go back. I can't go with you now. Right now, it's about 1 a.m. But take this man to, they gave us in Lagos. And went there, he told you, they were waiting for ambulance. They saw her back without ambulance. What's going on? He said, allow me, please. He went there and robbed the body of the dead. It's nice and young back to life. That was early morning Saturday. Both the dead and the woman were in church on Sunday. Anything dying or dead in you will bounce back to life now. One of our students in the Bible school took a man to home. The uncle died. And he said, please allow me in. They were all crying. He used the mantle to strike the man. In the name of Jesus, arise. In the name of Jesus, arise. They went, Why are you beating me? Why are you beating me? That was the end of it. In the name of Jesus, everything died or dead in your life will bounce back to life. Yeah. So don't just take the mantle, the timing what must leave you. The timing what must come back to you. Your kidney challenge, get it back. Your heart is challenge, get it back. Your liver is challenge, get it back. Hallelujah. It shall happen according to your faith. Say, Jesus have mercy. He said, do you believe that I'm able to do it? That's the only way it can happen. He said, I believe. He said, according to your faith, receive. So we receive anything from God called a miracle according to our faith. May your faith come alive Amen. to take your portion this early morning Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now it's blessed already Amen. and all over the world at this time the mantles out there have been blessed and they will release their virtues Amen. according to individual's faith in the name of Jesus. Carry on. And take your turn. All you do a touch on your forehead, a touch, not a rub, a touch, and then you touch the one in your hand, and you are free. And expect that change. Expect that turnaround. Expect that special miracle as this happens. Thank you, Jesus. You are holding in your hand not a magic wand, but a prophetic mantle. Whatever answered in the life of Elijah began to happen in the life of Elisha, and much more. So, whatever clears the way for the unction upon this commission, start clearing the way for you. Yeah. Brand new day. Yeah. It's a year of total liberty. Yeah. The sound of joy shall not depart from your household. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. As you treasure the deposit tonight, it will keep increasing in dimension. In Jesus' precious name. May I ask for all stations now to show down and let's take our testimonies the next seven minutes and then we're back to conclude in the service. Jesus is Lord. Please get seated. Would you congratulate your neighbor for me on your right and on your left with a smile? Congratulate that individual. The siege is over. Keep saying that the siege is over. The siege is over. A new day dawns. The siege is over. Congratulations. The siege is over. A new day dawns. The siege is over. Amen. Now let's listen to a few of these testimonies of the acts of God right away. Hallelujah. Victoria, a boy. For 30 years, she has had a moving object in the head. 
and in the stomach. But right as the mantle touched her, that moving object was checked out. She is set free to the glory of God. Every issue of concern that came with you has lost your grip on your life. Or when ye abisola for two months, she's pregnant, and for two months the baby in the womb has not moved. But right as the mantle was placed upon her, the baby started kicking again and moving to the glory of God. Caroline George has had accumulation of fluid in the throat for over eight years. But right after the mantle touched her tonight, that fountain dried up and she set free to the glory of God. Are you all last success? For six months, he has been plagued with asthma. But right after the mantle came upon him tonight, all the symptoms of that asthmatic condition disappeared and now set free to the glory of God. <laughs> Salifu Emmanuel, for 13 years, has had a knee problem. He said, fell from a bike 13 years ago. But right after that mantle came upon him tonight, all the pain, all the discomfort, all the affliction of 13 years is gone tonight to the glory of God. Ushe Grace Obugo for 20 years has been suffering from waist and general body pain. But right after the mantle came upon her tonight, that pain, that discomfort, all of it is gone. And now she's set free to the glory of God. <laughs> Ojo Olawale, for two years, he just began to have a strange mouth odor. But he says, as the mantle came upon him, that odor instantly disappeared tonight and he set free to the glory of God. Who get their favor for three months has had swollen legs but right after the mantle came upon her the swelling deflated and Jesus has set her free Amen. blessing Bedia for seven years has had a protruded tummy swollen tummy but after the mantle came upon her tonight that swelling was deflated and Jesus has set her free. Mary Eyang for three years has been dumb. But right after the mantle came, Hallelujah. suddenly she set free to the glory of God. Isn't God great? Lift up your two hands where you are seated, everyone, and give glory to God for his wondrous works in the midst of his people. Three years dumbness loosed. Thirty years strange affliction disappeared. The devil cast out. Baby began to move. After two months of no movement, Jesus is Lord. Give him glory, give him praise. Thank you, Jesus. May everyone's testimony that is shared today be permanent for life. Amen. May the grace imparted on your life today 
keep speaking all the days of your life. <laughs> I decree that Fortune 2024 only begins this year. It will continue all the days of your life. <laughs> you will never step back to the realm of misfortune anymore in your life. <laughs> it shall be testimonies galore. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. Shall we all rise to our feet? Across the nations of the world, let's get ready. Lift up your two hands and give God thanks for what encounter you have had yourself tonight. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him praise. There is none like him. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. <laughs> Lift up your two hands to heaven. I decree that every desire that came with you tonight returns as testimonies. <laughs> May that prophetic mantle in your hand and on your hair remain a mantle of life. It shall remain a seal of the hand of God upon your life. <laughs> Whatever clears the way for this commission begins to clear the way for you. <laughs> Whatever could not stop this commission from advancing will not be able to stop your life. <laughs> the days of stress and strain are over in your life. <laughs> The days of stress and strain, they are over in your life. The days of stress and strain, they are over in your life. As the Lord lives, no money in your household. Throughout this year and beyond, no weeping in your household. No one says sorry to you throughout this year. No one says sorry to you throughout this year. <laughs> for everyone on the line for Miracle Babies, I'm glad to announce to you your babies have arrived. <laughs> A month from now, every one of you is testifying. <laughs> your next pregnancy test is declared positive. <laughs> Everyone that believes God tonight, that's waiting for marital settlement, the good news is, your case is settled. <laughs> your encounter starts now. <laughs> this year is declared your year of settlement. <laughs> for every challenged family, I decree peace. <laughs> I decree peace. <laughs> Now the days of struggling with sin, they are over in your life. <laughs> I decree the rise of your new spiritual status. <laughs> A greater quality work with God. <laughs> A new day does on your life. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Everyone called jobless. In the name of Jesus. Under that prophetic seal that's on your life right now, I decree favor. <laughs> that will open strange chapters in your life, <laughs> humbling chapters in your life, <laughs> and reset you on the path of glory, <laughs> reset you on the path of honor. <laughs> I also pray that all of your kingdom advancement goes this year will deliver <laughs> at heaven's feet. <laughs> We deliver at every speed. Any sinner you pray over will be saved. Everyone that God saved through you shall be established. In the name of Jesus. Everyone here will win the heart of God this year. My prayer is that we shall all enjoy his commendation. When God commends, he changes the story of the commended. He said, well done, faithful friend. Wise and faithful servant, you have been very good in a few things. Now, after authority to about 10 cities, it shall be a year of strange enlargement. <laughs> strange enlargement. <laughs> For you and your household, a year of strange enlargement. 
in the name of Jesus. Now, I release upon you grace to take responsibility in defining the great future that awaits you. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Now, take note of this. The master key to a world of breakthroughs is applied revelation. What do I call it? The Lord said to me, you don't need to know anyone to scale the utmost height. Just know me. For those who do the covenant of their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. I had that October 4, 1981. September 6, 1983, the Lord said to me, you have two eyes. Can you make one to look up and one to look down? Anytime you're looking onto man, never claim to be looking onto me. If you fix your eyes on me, you'll never be ashamed. I got free from thinking about me, about anybody else, to make what God says happened in my life. It changes people's story by applied revelation. Grace to put to work the mysteries unfolded. The mystery of open check. Aren't you excited about yes. that? The mystery of kingdom dreams. Aren't you excited about that? Yes, when you walk in those things, sir, you're walking from one realm of fortune to another. Grace to take covenant responsibility in walking in the light that God shows you. Not only tonight, but it keeps showing you in your journey. Receive it right now. Amen. 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 To my precious sons and daughters on the life of marriage, listen to me. When I saw Matthew 63, everything that we ever need was covered by it. A friend of mine said, can we begin to pray about life partner? I said, no, I don't need that. He said, how? I said, my own is covered. He said, how? I said, Matthew 63. As you keep pressing after God, you take over all issues about your affairs. Amen. Don't let anybody harass you. Your case is settled. Amen. Don't let any devil harass you. Yes. Your case is settled. Amen. Don't let any devil harass you. Your case is settled. Amen. Matthew 63 is the jackpot of life. Jesus declared it. It's the jackpot of life. Everything begins to answer on their own accord in your favor. Everything, 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 everything. What a night. Encounter with light is the greatest encounter in life. Encounter with light. Arise and shine, your light is come. A little one shall become a thousand. A small one. A strong nation. Strong nation. A man becoming a nation by reason of applied light. Apply revelation. Apply revelation. Which is just a revolution. In the precious name of Jesus, grace to walk in the light shown you tonight. Yes, Lord. And all through this fasting season, yes. receive it right now. Yes. Yes. You never get stranded on God's side. Yes. Being on God's side, never flourishing side. Yes. And ever what? Flourishing side. And ever what? Flourishing side. And ever flourishing side. God's side is the ever flourishing side of life. Is the ever flourishing side of we have never known any better yesterday in 43 years. All kinds of economic holocaust have taken place. We are not aware. Amico tank brola. You can you believe during COVID-19? We planted 10,000 churches. Where is COVID? Can it stop the agenda of God? No. No circumstance under heaven will stop your advancement in life. Yeah. That grace upon this commission is upon your life right now. Yeah. Brand new day for you. Yeah. Before Sunday morning, you are full of kingdom dreams. Yeah. Some are revealing their dreams yeah. to move it forward. Yeah. To move it forward. Yeah. To move it forward. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. So shall it be. Yeah. Do you admire the kind of strength that God is showing in this small life? Yes, yes sir. It's your portion already. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. It's your portion already. Amen. 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 We are in the days of exploit. Yes. And it takes strength to command exploit. Yes. Those who do not God, they shall be strong. Weaklings don't command exploit. Therefore, the strength required to be listed among the men and women of exploit this end time, receive it now. Yeah. Some are not sick, but they are not well. They live like vegetables. No, enough. 
You know, it's enough. It's not your portion. Whatever grace you notice here in this ministry is your portion today. Amen. We have been driving, come and see, since 40 years ago. We are still driving it. Yes, sir. Grace to stay on. Amen. Grace to stick on. Yes. Receive it right now. I receive it. Now I command your household blessed. Amen. Your children blessed. Amen. Your spouse blessed. Amen. The ones of your hand blessed. Amen. Your spiritual life blessed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And as they went, they were healed. As you depart from here, before you step to your homes, God has perfected that hand on your life. <laughs> you return on Sunday morning with your testimony. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, finally, to the winners' family worldwide and all our sons and daughters in the ministries that are a part of the Shiloh sacrifice. Now, watch. The greatest event in your life will be without stress. Yeah. You'll be amazed as those who are passing by. Yeah. That's the largest singular project we have ever done as a ministry, yet the cheapest. The cheapest, sir. In truth, I'm telling you the true truth. The cheapest. What that means is this, your input of one naira, one dollar, that's a sacrifice to the Lord, will bring you into the realm of no stress for progress. <laughs> the progress of your life from now shall be without stress. Shall be without stress. Shall be without stress. God will surprise you. You will step into realms of strange supplies. <laughs> favor will locate you from everywhere. <laughs> Wherever your name is mentioned, favor will answer. <laughs> Wherever they see your picture, favor will answer. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. <laughs> All that see that project began will be alive and well <laughs> to worship there. Amen. You'll be alive and well yes. to worship there. Amen. You'll be alive and well yes. to worship there. Amen. You'll be alive and well yes. to worship there. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Come on, lift up your hands, wave it to heaven, and give God thanks. Give God thanks. Give God thanks. Give God thanks. And give God thanks. What a good God we serve. In Jesus' precious name. We have given thanks. Yeah. No matter the hardship on the earth, yes. it will not touch you. Yeah. Famine was so hot in Egypt that men were offering themselves for sale. But at the same time, Israel dwelt in Egypt. They increased and multiplied exceedingly in spite of the famine. That's the mark awaiting you on Sunday. No one in your lineage will beg for bread. No one will wear racks. In the name of Jesus. No one here will sell their houses for food. No one will draw their children from school. The God of exemption will place his hand upon your life. And so shall it be. When as family worldwide, be blessed. Yeah. May you go forth to replicate and duplicate the grace. Yeah. And it's starting from now. Yeah. No loss. Yeah. No more loss in your life. Yeah. You will not labor and another man will eat. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. So shall it be. Yeah. Let everyone call barren boss into singing. Yeah. Because your case is settled already. And everyone suffering marital delay burst into joy and rejoicing because the year you have long waited for has finally come. Let everyone challenging his business burst into singing. Your year of breakthrough is finally here. Let everyone starting his career burst into laughter 
because you are breaking forth on every side. So shall it be. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Shall we together share the goodness of the Lord and fellowship everybody? Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Can you help me give to your neighbor right now with all your heart? Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Now, upon yourself right now, surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise God. Fortune is my portion in 2024. Congratulations.